Tissue? You want one? No? Okay. You done crying? You done feeling sorry for yourself? Okay. Gotcha. Yo, what's going on, y'all? Because I had a subscriber who said this. He told me that he feels invisible. He feels invisible to women. And he told me that it's not like he's being treated badly. It's not that he's being treated poorly. It's that he's not being treated like anything. And I imagine that a lot of you guys probably had this same type of experience. He says that he gets no attention from women at all. He's not being treated poorly directly, but he's being treated poorly, in his opinion, indirectly because he's not getting the results with dating that he would like. Now, here, here I am sitting here, right? A nigga got his hoodie on with his ears sticking out, right? This is an example for what you're supposed to be doing because I want your motherfucking ass listening, okay? I got to show you guys because I know y'all ain't, y'all got the horrible attention spans. So I got to show you. Ears out. You feel me? Ears out. Listen up. To continue what I was saying about the guy, he also said that there was a girl that he had class with that he tried to approach her after the fact and basically the girl treated him like she didn't even really know who he was, right? Now, he didn't give context if this was high school or college, but just seeing you know, what he went through, I'm imagining it's college and there was a girl that just acted like she didn't even know he existed, right? So he feels like he's invisible. And when we look at the stats, guys, on modern dating, it's not looking that good for average men. This, this is a real epidemic that guys are struggling with. And that's why I created this data channel to help the average guy. I saw a stat, 44%, you can look this up yourself, of men and Gen Z. That mean the late, you know, the teenage guys, the guys in their 20s up until like, I think it's like the beginning of the 30s or, the, or around there, right? This age group, Gen Z, I'm sorry, that's 12 to 28 is Gen Z is what it looks like. So. Almost 30 years old down to 12 years old is Gen Z. All the guys in this, I'm in Gen Z. Most of my peers, which is a lot of you guys, is struggling with women and you're almost invisible. Well, why is that, right? 44% of you guys have had no relationships with women at all. No sex, nothing. Whereas if you look at the stats, you know, 70 some percent of women is saying that they done had some sort of sexual experience in relationships. Well, how is that happening? Well, the women are fucking all the same dudes. You got to do what it takes to be in there. And the thing is this, it's the hardest when you're young. It's kind of like the workplace. And I've told you guys this before. In the workplace, it's hard for young people to get jobs because they want you to already have experience. Well, the thing is, I don't have no experience and I'm trying to get experience. That's why I'm applying. It's like this, you know, thing of like, well, how do I get the experience if I need the experience to get hired? It's the same thing with women. To get women, you need to at least, in their opinion, come across like a dude who already has experience. This is the problem that a lot of you guys is dealing with. So the first thing I wanna say to you, bro, that sent me that message is you need to pick yourself up. Yeah, the girl rejected you, she acted like she didn't know who you were, right? Whatever that girl was looking for in the man, the value that she's looking for, you just didn't have it. And the, and the main value here is gonna be looks, money, status, and you could throw in charisma as well, but I find that with charisma guys, you either just a charismatic guy or you not. You can get better at it, but a lot of times the charisma comes from your confidence, right? And charisma is gonna come from confidence, which is can be a genetic thing. That's why I say you either got it or you don't. But for a lot of dudes, that's gonna come from improving the other areas that I just named. Looks, money, status, which is what women are predominantly attracted to. Those are the three main areas. Guys, my channel's for the average man. But it's not because I want you to be average your whole fucking life and be average in every category. You guys are gonna have to improve yourself and you gonna have to be above average in some of these areas. My thing is you don't have to be Drake or Justin Bieber. You don't have to be you know, a six figure earner plus. You don't have to be high status with a blue check mark verified. And you don't have to have the craziest charisma and your looks ain't got to be a 10 out of 10. A lot of those things you can't even make yourself a 10 out of 10. My thing is this, you got to pick a, you got to pick a struggle. A lot of you dudes, you, you down bad, you down bad in every category. You broke, you have no charisma, nobody knows you, you have no status with nothing. You have no achievements under your belt. You ain't built no business. You ain't, you ain't no football player, you know? You ain't even top guy on the academic team. A lot of you guys is in this middle area of just getting by. You know, even the nerds that's real smart and they popular on the team, at least they got that going for them. At least they class president, that's some sort of status. A lot of you dudes don't have none of that. A lot of you dudes, you, you in this basic born routine, you go to school or you go to work and when you come home, you a loser. You sit on the couch, 
and you just watch shit all the time. I made this channel for guys like you because you still want women and you still struggling, but what you actually doing is feeding your cycle to stay a loser. The only way you're going to change is if you start doing things differently. That don't mean today you go out and you get a whole bunch of girls. You ain't going to be able to skip to that. It's stages to this shit to build your fucking self-confidence. And what I'm trying to tell you is you got to pick a struggle. You can't be down in every category. You, If you short, yes, women don't like short guys. A lot of them don't. A lot of I'm not going to say all of them. That's not true. There are women that will deal with you and fuck you if you're short. I know short guys that get pussy that's reproducing and keeping their seed going. They not in that 44% that don't you know, uh, have relations with women. But yes, there's women that you ain't going to be able to get because of that. And But this is the thing too. If you cry about that shit and you don't maximize yourself in other areas and you struggling and everything and you just in the fucking rear in the negative zone, then you really going to struggle. So you got to assess yourself on your strengths and weaknesses. What are women attracted to and what do I have going for myself in those categories? Well, I already told you what they're attracted to. Looks, money, status. This is the stuff that you need to be seen by women. Because if you ain't seen... All of the strategies y'all watch on YouTube, I tell y'all, ignoring women, even the stuff I'm teaching, the mouthpiece, the game, how to progress, ain't no fucking progressing if you can't get in the door. It's the same thing. And this is what I this is what I tell guys, because I do uh, recruiting and sales and stuff, staffing. When you're dealing with younger workers, the thing is, y'all got to get some sort of internship, right? When you're coming out of a college or in college, that's why they tell you to do that. Get some sort of internship. Build your network so you can work with people who are already established. You see, just like right now, you're networking, right? You don't know me, but you using you basically you using other people's knowledge so that have experience so you can get better. So basically, study up on women, study up on female nature, study up on what girls are attracted to. So now I'm telling you, looks, money, and status. So the next thing is you need to present yourself the same way, just like you would if you go into a job interview, dress to impress. You got to go in there and dress and present yourself in a way that look good to the interviewer. So for them, it's a suit and professionalism. For women, when it come down to the looks and how you present, you need to hit the gym. There's so many stats. I don't care what women say about this dad bod shit. They fucking lying. Women like muscles, guys. They like, you don't have to be super buff, though. You can, you can be, you know, 15% around there, to be honest. Body fat, hit the gym and or less, have muscle hit the gym, work out, and just have a lean, masculine looking type of physique. You can't have big titties and you see what I'm saying? You can't have a big ass beer belly. You can't be walking around, uh, you know, some of you niggas look like y'all got BBLs. You know, y'all got a y'all got a big stomach and then your ass fat. Like you can't have that happen. You know, pause. Niggas looking like I was gonna say an ant, but I don't even know what creature walking around fat up here and at the bottom, right? Except you. So you gotta fix that shit. You gotta fix that shit. You have to put in the work. This is gonna take blood, sweat, and tears. And this is my thing. What you'll start to see once you go through this is yeah, now you're gonna start getting more attention. Now you'll start getting more looks. And even if you wasn't, you're gonna feel better about yourself to put yourself out here to cold approach. I, a lot of you young guys, especially you 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. In that range, man, a lot of you guys that's watching me, your biggest problem is you don't even socialize. You don't even socialize. You don't, you don't, you don't go nowhere. You don't do anything different. There's apps you can download, guys. You can download Eventbrite. There's an app that you can download to start going to things. You can get on Bumble and stop instead of using Bumble to be on there, you know, swiping through girls and they all skip you and all this shit. And you over here needing these damn four ply tissue boxes. Instead of crying about that, you can actually socialize. Meeting women in a public setting, you got more going for you from your personality talking to you that establishes social proof. If you met women in a setting and you was out with people, you see what I'm saying? That can establish some sort of status. A lot of you dudes right now, you're not doing shit in high school. That's a bad look just for college, guys. If you want to go to college, and my channel's young and disciplined, I'm trying to push you guys in so many ways. I don't want everything to just be about women. I want you to improve yourself as a fucking man and as a young man that's going to be out here because life is hard. Nobody is going to fucking help you. Nobody's going to care about the, the plight that you're going through. And damn sure women ain't because they blind to this. Women go through their life and a lot of women, they get handouts just for being pretty. They get handouts just for existing. They got guys that want to buy shit and send for them. That's just the way it is. Accept it. But you can get yourself 
to a place to where women find you attractive and you up your looks, you get your body right, you hit the gym so you feel better about yourself, you start building some sort of structure in your life and you not being lazy all the time. Just, just being lazy all the time, bro, sitting around, you know that make you feel like shit. It make you feel like a loser because you're not getting nothing done. And I know you guys got goals. You got, bro, you got something right now that you know you're supposed to be doing instead of watching this. Go after you watch this shit or even right fucking out. Go watch, go do what you're supposed to be doing. Set a schedule. Start learning to practice discipline habits. And I'm telling you, once you start, to, those things will build internal confidence and also help you be more attractive, being more ambitious, chasing your goals, hitting the gym, having a disciplined diet, eating better, having control over that. A lot of you guys want women. Here's the thing. Women want guys that they can submit to. Women want fucking men as leaders. If you can't control your own eating habits, if you can't control your own day and your destiny in life and how you handle these situations and the cards that you was dealt, why would some girl want to submit to you? If I was the girl, I wouldn't want to submit to you neither because you ain't leading me nowhere. Where are you leading yourself right now? It all starts with you and you can't struggle in every area. Find your weaknesses. You a fat dude, well, you need to hit the gym. You got the bowl cut. My nigga, this is not 2011, the Justin Bieber shit. Like even then it was lame. But when he came out with it, at least you can get away with it because he was a celebrity that had status. So if you had the bowl cut, you might be, oh, you look like Justin Bieber. Ain't nobody rocking that shit now. Go get you a number one. Go get you a fade. Go get you a fucking clean cut. You know, get you some braids. Some of you do some black guys over here. Get you some locks. Get you a, a taper with a, a, a line up. Get your shit faded in the back. My nigga, stop doing it even Steven. Some of you guys need to put more effort into your face. You know, skincare. Right, go look into different skin products. You can start with something simple, just a simple face wash and some toner and a moisturizer. You can do that if you got bad skin. Don't do it if you if you good, but if, if you got bad skin or your skin is breaking out, that can help you. I don't know what that was. But you gotta do something. You guys gotta improve everything from your fashion, from your body, to how, to how the, maximizing your looks the best you can, dealing with the cars that you was dealt. Then from here, making sure you dressing nice, right? Smelling good, invest in some colognes, and not ax. Please, no fucking ax. I don't know if that's still an epidemic. When I was in high school, niggas thought ax was shower in the can. Please, niggas be smelling musty as shit, spraying some ax thinking that's covering it up. Nigga, that does not help you. That, that don't cover for a shower, my nigga. That don't cover for a shower. I hate when niggas do that. But my whole point is, you have to improve yourself and I want you guys to maximize your quality of life overall. You gonna have to work. You're going to have to work. It's not, you could say it's not fair, but this is how life is. If you ain't got nothing going for yourself, you are invisible to women. And that's going to improve your charisma and shit. Charisma, guys, that comes from just being confident. That comes from being confident. Now, how, how charismatic you are, you know, to, to the typical person, that's going to come down to life experiences and also just genetics on how your brain is wired. You know, I tell y'all, I ain't no fucking charismatic nigga. I don't, my game ain't going around talking the whole time and shit. I, in my demographic and all the girls I deal with, girls always thought I was cute and shit like this. So I had to up different areas and to make sure I get attention in different ways. You might not be that same way. Maybe you do got to have a more flashy lifestyle to some degree to make you look more attractive if you ain't got the best face. Make sure your hair cut. Make sure you groom. Make sure you look nice and make sure you work hard. Get you some fucking bread so you can actually have a better lifestyle, not just for women, but just for yourself. You see what I'm saying? You got to improve in some way. Some guys, be ambitious. Get out here and start working, even if you don't have a clear direction on what it's going to be like with women. What I can tell you is sitting on your fucking ass and doing nothing is not going to get you there. Trying to stay average and being mad at the world is not going to get you there. Again, you don't have to be a six-figure earner. You don't need money to fuck women. I'm going to make videos on that. You don't need money. You need, when it comes to sleeping with a girl, you got to know, you got to have game and knowing how to sell them a dream and how to talk to women to basically engage and entice their emotions and get them like sexually aroused. You got to know how to talk to them in that way to build sexual tension and engage women in those type of ways. But to get seen, yeah, you're going to be vis invisible, bro. You're going to be invisible. You got to have something that make you stand out. And the only way to literally stand out is to be above average. That, that's it. 
That's the only thing you can do. Be above average. And even then, you still might not get all the girls you want, but you can get your fair share and you don't have to be in that 40 something percent. But it's not gonna come from sitting in the house all the time. It's not gonna come from doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's not gonna come from doing nothing. There's so many things, and I, look, man, you really gotta dive into this and start to understand what women are attracted to. Down to, you know, what when they see your face, you know, what is a woman judging on the face? Now, I'm not telling you that because I want you to get surgeries and shit, right? But you got to know this stuff. What's what's the best look? Is it the full beard? Is it the nine? Is it the, you know what I'm saying? Is it the shadow? You got to know this stuff. Hairline, that shit is important. What type of clothes are you wearing? Are you wearing clothes that fit your body right? Like this, this is bummy shit. Again, I throw this shit on so I can make a video. But I wasn't weird as trying to go out and be out in the world with women. And if you're going to be invisible, if you're going to be quiet, no social skills, you don't have a lot of friends, or you live in your own world, all I can tell you is you accepting that. And that's your fate because you want it. You can go out here and change it. But it's true. Average men is going to be invisible to women. And they're not going to give two fucks. So that means you got to make yourself a catch. What you going to do? Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one.